As you may know, Adobe Firefly now supports text-to-video. It costs money beyond what you may be paying for a Creative Cloud subscription, like an extra 10 bucks a month, possibly more. In contrast, OpenAI's Sora, which we'll also see, is included along with ChatGPT. But hey, that's 20 bucks a month. You do your own cost analysis, I'll stay in my lane and analyze the results. Right up front, I want you to notice that this service is called Firefly Video Beta, which I think is a little bit disingenuous given that it costs at the very least 10 bucks a month on top of whatever you're paying for Creative Cloud. I know it's your blood boiling yet. And so for Adobe to hide behind the veil of beta, I think is, what's the word I'm searching for? Appalling. Also notice that no matter what, you're gonna get 1080p. Again, as things stand now. So widescreen 920 by 1080 or vertical if you prefer. Now, what I would like, I think that's plenty of resolution. I would like something lower so that I can experiment. Right now, each one of these five second videos, mind you, costs 100 credits, which means that you can create at most 20 videos in a given month. And does that sound like it's like one and a half videos every two days? Does that sound like nearly enough to get a sense for what's going on? What we need, Adobe, is to be able to create 480p for 20 credits. And that way we can experiment and try before we actually commit to a high resolution. And if that sounds right to you, would you please take a moment to subscribe? Subscription, after all, costs nothing. All right, now I want to call to your attention these other options down here. They're not nearly so numerous as what we have with Firefly still images, but I could set this to a long shot and I could go with an eye level shot as well because notice my prompt. It's not a cute cuddly creature or a dragon or anything fantasy. It's something crazy. It's from the driver's perspective. I want to make it clear. I'm driving the car like a crazy person, speeding impossibly quickly. I could not enter dangerously quickly because I got the sad dog or the, or the grumpy monkey or whatever it is that, you know, is telling me that idea just got censored. So I had to come up with speeding impossibly quickly, but I wanted to be crazy down a winding mountainous road with the ocean at my side so that I have some nice scenery. Don't you know? And I also want you to know, before I set this going, I want you to see that we have a seed option. Now the seed, notice it's 406,000, etc. That allows you to uh, achieve consistent results. So if you come up with something you like, you could repeat the seed. However, the second I click generate, I want you to notice that the seed just changed to 504,000. And I'm gonna start a timer because I want you to notice that we have this cute little guy here and it's, you know, its hair is going to wave or it's going to have bubbles. It's got a lot. Of, it's, it sometimes rolls around to distract you from the fact that each one of these videos takes about two minutes to generate. And sure enough, that took a minute 40, which is pretty much par for the course of my experience. And now I'll go ahead and play the video. And we are moving at a very good pace. I've done this many times now where I get passed by other cars or I'm moving very, very slowly. Notice that it has a kind of California 101 sort of feel to it. And what's so funny about this, that's exactly what I wanted by the way, but what's so funny about this is I have yet, even though my description does not say West Coast or even the United States of America, I have yet to get anything in any other country or on the East Coast. Now, at this point, of course, you can click download if you want to work with a video further. Here's that same video full screen looping just so we have a chance to evaluate things. In a sense, it meets the mandate, right? We're not exactly going Audubon speed, but we are going too fast for this road for these hairpin turns right here. And I am like an absolute madman driving on the wrong side of the road here in the States, which is great because I've got this low guardrail. One wrong turn could send me plummeting to my death not to be found for another couple of weeks, which is exactly what I want. 
from AI. I don't want it to be the kind of thing that I could actually do in real life, but there are problems. I am feeling very critical. Do you see what I'm seeing? This is something that is becoming increasingly endemic where Firefly is concerned, and that is this cottage cheese detail right here. It's an overabundance of texture, almost a pointillism effect. You can see that we have these flex and you could argue that makes sense for the bush right here, but it doesn't make sense going out into the ocean. That doesn't work at all. And then we have these stretch marks in the asphalt that turn into cottage cheese and then grow overly smooth. And even if it makes sense for some bushery here and there, it does not work out for this sheer rock wall, which should be absolutely smooth. All right, here we are by stark contrast inside Sora. Same prompt, by the way, but we do have some additional options. For aspect ratio, you can go widescreen or vertical, but you can also go square. Minor point, but still, you definitely have more control over resolution. You have to pay more. You have to buy into the pro plan if you want 1080 as things stand right now, but actually as we're about to see 480 looks better crazily and it costs way less it's 25 credits by the way 50 credits for 720 but you can still burn through them and you start with fewer credits in the first place but you don't have to buy into an extra plan so blah 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 you can look into all that you can generate not only five second but 10 second videos as well and we have multiple variations which i don't recommend they're two by default and i think that can get you into trouble very quickly you can really burn through the credits but anyway i've got the same exact prompt by the way so from driver's perspective speeding impossibly fast and so forth but i could enter words like frightening without getting censored out i should also say that this happens much more quickly instead of two minutes you know roughly with with firefly it's about 45 seconds here inside Sora. And I end up with this video right here, which you can kind of scrub through to get a sense for what's going on. It looks like it's gonna be a wild ride. And then of course you can download it, but notice if you download a video, you can download an animated GIF if you want to, not an option with Firefly, but if you go with the video, then it is going to get a watermark, which I don't find to be all that intrusive. Hey, real quick, want to see how to use Firefly video with faces? For example, you can create morphs in which one face transitions into another. Then join my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash deeknow. And now back to Firefly video versus Sora. Anyway, here it is playing and looping and and I just want you to see that it is a crazier ride. It's a very slim single person automobile, which is fascinating. But even though we have these kind of interlacing that's going on, do you see those horizontal lines right there? It is much smoother than anything we're seeing in Firefly. And we don't have that kind of cottage cheese effect. And just for the record, here is a side by side comparison, bearing in mind that the example on the left is 480p and the one on the right is 1080p so in other words five times as many pixels out of firefly and yet i would argue the quality is actually better from sora all right here we are in sora again and as long as you're looking at the video you can among other things loop it and so i'll just go ahead and click on loop that's really all you have to do with a 480p video. With a 720p, you may have to sort of rein in the sides a little bit in order to control the timing. And a moment later, I'm looking at two seamlessly looping variations on that same video. And when I say seamless, I am perhaps being a little bit charitable. There is a kind of phantom at this point right here in the mountainside, did you see that? And these effects grow more pronounced, if anything, at higher resolutions. For example, here we are seeing that same scene more or less at 720p. And did you make that out? There is a big chunk of the mountainside right there that just kind of gets up and more or less flies away. 
Firefly by stark contrast does not offer a dedicated looping feature. However, you can upload a first frame as well as the last frame. And so I just went ahead and generated this guy in Firefly. It's a still image. You don't have to work that way. You could go with a photograph instead. And so as you can see here, I've gone ahead and loaded that image as a first and last frame. So theoretically, we should be able to loop from that first frame to that last frame in order to generate something that passes for a seamless transition. And here's what we end up getting. Now, sometimes it does better than this blessed sweetheart, but in this case, it's just kind of got this, uh, this region of the mountainside on a kind of turntable and we're really not moving at all. And just for fun, just to be fair, here is a much more successful version, looping animation, as you can see right here. However, it does have a problem. It kind of glitches. Did you see that? And then it has this kind of bush that catches on fire over there. Not to knock it, this kind of stuff is inherent with AI, but of course, what we don't need from Firefly is a whole bunch of cottage cheese. All right, I don't want to end on a sour note, so I thought I'd wrap things up by showing you something fairly successful that I came up with. And so here I am looking at the Firefly still image generator. I set the content to art this time around and I applied a few stylistic variations such as hyper-realistic and maximalism. And I decided on this guy right here. And initially I set it as not only the first frame, but the last frame as well. And I came up with this looping animation, which is not the least bit satisfactory. We do have a little bit of wiggle associated with this mountainous wall right here. Notice that we have a kind of tremor. And then we've got this grassy median that's moving at me along with this oncoming car, but that does not qualify as me as the driver in motion. But when I set this frame, it's just the first frame, no last frame at all, it ended up working out pretty nicely. Now this is not a seamlessly looping animation, quite obviously, but it is a very nice work of state-of-the-art AI 1080p animation. All right, so you want my verdict? Here's my verdict. Firefly video's not ready for prime time and Adobe has no business charging money for it. But hey, if you have money to burn and your expectations are modest, it's a lot of fun. Throw away money on video poker, throw away money on Firefly. If you'd like me to show you Sora, just let me know. And if you feel like, you know, maybe that saved you a buck or two, subscribe and turn on notifications. And for animating faces, which is actually one of the things Firefly does modestly well, join me at patreon.com slash deke now and then go to deke.com and sign up for my newsletter. I'm Deke McClellan. This is Deke Now.